Right, welcome back to my Let's Play of Spiral the Dragon, the very last part, and um, Nasty's Loot, um, where we have to get a lot of loot, I believe. I don't know how much there is to get, but there is a lot to get, and this is pretty much the last part. It seems just so bizarre that I've actually finished it, but obviously not yet, but near enough, and yeah, how do we get over here then? Just fly over here? Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, okay. It appears we have the flight powers of the, what do you may call it, um, flight level, so I'm not sure if that's just for this level or maybe what do we need. There's 2,000 gems, that is a massive amount. I think there's only yellows and purples here, so it's not that bad, but it's still pretty. It's still a lot, um, no matter what way you look at it, I guess. Um, so yeah, it looks like I can't fly any higher than this, so I must probably need to get a good um, jump off to a good bit of heights. So I probably have to like, find certain areas to go to and pretty much get them. But yeah, this is actually being cool. I need keys as well, apparently, from the looks of the wall here. Um, so yeah, um, but yeah, the game has... Oh, okay, that was a bit silly. I can't like, dive on down. I'm not used to this flying at the moment of like being able just to fly casually like this. It's not really casual, but I think you understand maybe what I mean. And um, But nonetheless, the Spyro game has been pretty enjoyable. I really enjoyed it. I was hoping maybe... I guess it is somewhat a flight level, but not a flight level. But yeah, I have really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I think I just pretty much saying what I said last time about when I was fighting Nark and I was charging and not really doing anything. That it is. I have really enjoyed it. It is pretty fun. And I'm just gonna have to go for the lava area over here. And I also have all the obstacles. Um, but yeah, it's all better than I thought. It's not, obviously it's quite different to Spiral 2, which is the one I'm most familiar with, as it's the one I played when growing up. I never played the first, actually I think I may have played the first and third one from a friend, but very little of them. Um, I know a lot of people actually like the third. I didn't like the third for the fact that, wait, I think I just went in a big circle. And never mind. I never liked the third in the sense that it was like, new characters, no, I just want to play Spiral. Like, I'm sure it's still a good game and everything, and there's nothing wrong with it, it's just me being the kind of awkward, HOW DARE YOU CHANGE THINGS? No one dare changes things, and I want to play them and to change them to different things. I don't want change. But again, I'm sure it's still quite a good game. I have played a little bit of it actually now, thinking about it as I have it downloaded as well as the second one. And this one, I've just never I didn't play it that much. I was thinking maybe I'll be better if I um, do a play of it, which I eventually did here. Um, but another thing, I guess, is. Um, this will probably be my last video on the channel as generally to be fair the channel is kinda not oh there's a key guy okay I'm probably have to go after you the ch uh, how I land the channel is not very active is it um, I'm mainly for like quite a while I mean really the main one actually uploading stuff so it doesn't feel as fun and I think it'll probably be better if I just do the stuff on my own channel I do have a playlist of this on my channel so um, as well as obviously still being here, so that's still all fine and dandy and everything, so it's not exactly it's going away. But if I do a Spiral 2, which I'll probably do at some point, even I still have more stuff to finish up on my channel, um, it probably won't be for a while, but if I do anyway do one, it'll be on my channel, and yeah, that's kind of... It really, um, I do like the potential of the channel here, it's just, I guess, other people have been busy with other things, obviously I can understand that you can't always upload all the time, other people have problems and that, and, um, yeah, the other thing I guess, it's mainly partly, partly me anyway, um, not really anyone else, but I really didn't talk to, I don't, like, everyone else on the channel, um, uh, is pretty nice, at least, who I've talked to and everything, but the thing is, I've not really talked to everyone that much. That, that, that's also just partly down to me being me, and I'm actually quite a shy, quiet person when it comes to talking to other people. I'm fine when I'm talking to myself, because, like, I'm the only one there, but, like, in group calls, and I had a few of them, I was kind of pretty quiet, but generally I am quiet like that, um, in group chats, even if it's people I'm probably more familiar with, I'm just always known quite well as kind of a quiety person, so, yeah, they, like, obviously there's other ones channels you can check out anyways, that was mine, which I don't think I barely link to in the description, but, 
And it's not that hard to find. I'll maybe put it in this part. I think I could put it in the first two parts or so. I'll get a link to my channel description and I just didn't bother because I was too lazy to do it. And I was like, well, if people are really that interested, they'll find out who I am and watch from there, I guess. Um, but nonetheless, it's still been quite fun. Um, I guess I was kind of made. Oh, oh, we do have plane guys. Maybe we have to catch that plane guy to get a key. I have enjoyed it. I was maybe thinking a while back of maybe like stuffing, but I was thinking no. I, I'll stick with it. I started doing Spiral One, and I will finish Spiral One. I probably won't be doing the trilogy here, but I will be doing the trilogy eventually, at some point, somewhere, and everything. Okay, it looks like it's not going to be an easy war guy to catch. We probably have to predicted route, but nonetheless, it's okay. I don't know if I hit that firework. It can't get any higher there. Um, if I just land here for the time being and fire you, um, looks like I can get around there. I think I maybe went a bit lower. I don't th I think I'm a bit low than maybe what I should be at this point. In terms of height, I don't know. Maybe I dropped some height. Maybe I haven't. Um, no, I don't think I really dropped any height. I can't really get you at the moment, which is annoying. Um, maybe I'll fly over here and get some of the gems, I guess. Um, just land down a bit and be like, yay, gems and everything. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, that was because I broke the thingy. Um, sorry, I'm just kind of like thinking, how, where do those gems come from? I'm not actually that sore. Um, but nonetheless, again, it has been enjoyable. I've enjoyed doing it. I do enjoy doing my Let's Plays and everything in generalness. I'm not really just doing them on here, but just overall and everything. So it's always quite good for that. Um, I think I need to wait for this flying guy to come round to my level of heights. I think I saw him drop. Yeah, he drops down there. So basically, I need to get ready for him here. Then I fire them, and I presume he's going to drop a key. Um, Oh god, no, didn't get him in time there, but I guess it was easy enough, it's still a somewhat difficult level to do as well, surprisingly, um, considering where we are. Oh god, oh god, oh no, 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 get back here, get back here, get back here. Come on, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Actually, I guess I could actually catch up with him a little if I actually cut the corners. Okay, I, I, I killed him and I did get the key, okay. I didn't notice the key on the ground, but I noticed it at the bottom right of the screen, so yeah, obviously we got it there. So it's all lovely and everything. Um, the keys and the key looks like the massive difference in size and everything. It's like, oh, that is just weird. It's not really weird, it's just, okay, this, that doesn't look very right, does it? Okay, this guy's going for a slightly awkward area, but nonetheless, I'm going to fly around more. Um, seeing as I have the extra height to fly around higher, I think. Yes, I do, because I can reach here now. And then I just need to chase after that last guy, and presuming to get to the last height level to actually exit the level and save the progress and everything. Um, providing, obviously, once I actually get all the gems, I don't think I've got that many of them. Yeah, as they say, maybe I should move away from there. It might not be the safest option to be standing right there. Um, there, I think there was a firework here which we launched earlier. Um, is there not any more gems, really? I don't see any more lying around, at least. Um, I need to find a um, flying guy. I'm presuming he's just flying in circles down here. Um, possibly, possibly not. I'm going to have to fly around and actually look for him now. <laughs> Um, I should have probably chased him a bit just to see generally where he was going, or maybe it wasn't even in here, it was a different lava area that's like higher up or something. I don't know. I don't see him though, which is a bit of a nuisance. Um, didn't mean to crash there, but it didn't really matter too much. Oh wait, he's not launched off, so I guess we need to, yeah, he must fly up here, and then we have to chase him, and then he'll probably just fly back up or something. And the problem is, is I get a bad start there, and he is still pretty fast. And I don't know where. Oh, oh God, no, no. Okay, okay. Oh God, those those pipe things are annoying. I'm guessing he's just flown all the way back ground and everything, and it's like, oh, okay then. You're just useless. Um, I'm guessing it may actually be better if I can like cut him off at some point, but I'm not really sure. I seem to be flying slower now, though, which is annoying. Um. Okay, just need to make sure to keep flying and hopefully at least catch up with him, or at least keep him in my sights to see where he goes. Because um, I'm not sure how this guy particularly works. Um, if much, oh, he probably goes to the right, which is the way I didn't go. 
Um, so I guess I'll just have to try again and I'll make sure to try and, was it left or right I'm thinking of here? I don't know why he flies so slowly when he gets to this point, um, it's just a bit annoying. And I'm wasting too much time chasing after this guy and I was kind of rambling on about nothing and it's like, oh, is this what you call entertainment? Because I don't call it entertainment, I call it being very silly. Um, yeah, it looks like he's just got to go around here, so maybe I can like cut, cut him off or something, or maybe I could actually catch up to him somehow, um, which I've actually almost done. Um, if I could ever kill him, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Um, oh, he's just going to go in a big circle, but he'll probably go back up to the top if I fly out of here and we kill him, so we've got the key now. I don't know where the top bit is to fly up. Um, so I'm probably just going to have to fly around and go the other way, so I can't see at this point. <laughs> point. Oh god. He, he just glitches so much at those bits, but I think that's us able to at least access the end, possibly the end of the level maybe. But we still have like a ton more gems to actually get, which is a somewhat hindrance. But maybe they're up here. Oh god. Oh god. One gem. One gem. Um... I don't know, maybe this part's just giving us the last bit of height we need, and why did I fly through here? I don't like flying through here. Um, let's see, where's the finish again? Um, finish is over here, and there's a bit behind it, and I think we've got enough height to get over to it this time, and there's probably the rest of the stuff is probably here. Um, yeah, it looks like it may be, um, was it just a big trail of them all, and it's... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I like that picture. I'm going to look at that in a second as I blow this up. I'm presuming it's going to blow everything up. Yep, that is lovely. There's like gems everywhere. This must be like the end of it. With all the millions and millions of gems just to collect at once. The screen is getting filled with numbers and it's like, goes, oh, just insane. But it's lovely at the same time. It's like I'm collecting so much. Anyway, that should totally be everything. I'll wait a second to see. Um, Mr. Nork there, and maybe just back off a bit to look at him. Yeah, it's a lovely picture. It is his loot, and we've got the 2000, so that is us 101% complete, I'm just going to say. Even it's, oh wait, 120%, wow, we actually do go over the percentage, um, over the 100%, and actually, well, finish it more, so that is actually quite lovely. Spyro the Dragon, you've defeated Ganasty Ganork, collected the dragon eggs, saved all the dragons, and recovered every bit of treasure in the Dragon Kingdom. How do you feel? I feel fired up, Bob. And I'm happy for the Dragon World, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? Uh, never mind. You know what they say. For every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty, in spite of his misguided nature, was a worthy opponent. Uh-oh. Here we go again! And I love that the dragon is throwing the sheep into the basketball net. That was just lovely. Um, but yeah, that was nice. I wasn't expecting another cutscene. I know we got the rest of the credits after doing this, but I didn't know about the cutscene, which is actually pretty nice. But nonetheless, I've pretty much said most of this video what I felt. The game was really enjoyable. I wasn't sure at first, but I did enjoy it more. It's different from Spyro 2, but it's still a good game. It's not, it's like, it's different, but still good in its own way. Um, there are some of the worlds, a few towards the end. Could have been a bit better in terms of like the char some of the charging ramp things, I can't remember what they're called, for the supercharges and some of the middle levels were really difficult but later on they just didn't use them as much and this level was really annoying to do it with, it was difficult to do as I was figuring out how to do it um, but yeah, they just didn't seem to concentrate on that as much, um, which I think was a bit of a shame. They were tougher enemies, and yeah, it was a bit annoying. I hated these flight levels as well, they were horrible. Um, but nonetheless, again as well, this will be my last video on the channel, most likely. Um, again, you can check out my channel, I'll put a link down in the description if you're really so concerned about it, if you actually have it, don't know about it already. 
But anyway, um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed where you just randomly saw this as the last part and you're like, oh, I watched the last part. I've not really watched much of the rest, but I watched the last part. Or if you watched like from the beginning or maybe you watched from the middle or you've just been watching bits and pieces here and there. Um, anyway, either way, you're watching this part, so it's at least one part or even just skipping to the end to hear this for some reason. Still quite nice. Um, Again, I won't see you next time because one, obviously the game's finished and I'm not going to be in the channel now. A bit sad, but nonetheless, um, I hope you enjoyed and I shall hopefully see you maybe some other time. So yeah, that's the end of Spyro and goodbye.